I'm just a closed basket weave for an, a lateral ankle sprain. I'm going to start with the ankle in a 90 degree dorsiflex position and then I've put just some heel and lace pads with skin lube on top of the top and bottom of the heel that just pr protects from any friction or blisters that may happen. I'm going to start with pre-wrap, rolling on the top of the ankle first, wrapping around those heel and lace pads, kind of trying not to get any wrinkles. Make sure you go around every surface with hair. I'm sure you'll appreciate that. You said you didn't want any pre-wrap. All the way up to the base of the gastrocnemius, the calf muscle. You don't want to restrict the motion or the activation of that gastroc muscle. Next, I'm going to just use Johnson & Johnson Athletic Tape. This is the best brand. And a little <laughs> plug for Johnson & Johnson there. I'm going to start with two anchors at the top of my pre-wrap, just going around the tibia and fibula, two to three anchors. Uh, the next step is going to be a stirrup, so you're going to start on the medial side of the ankle, going around the medial malleolus, around the bottom of the heel, and over to the lateral side. I want to rip this tape, anchor on the other side, and then pull up as I place it down. Again, I'm going to do two to three of these stirrups, depending on the size of the ankle. And the last one, overlapping the previous one by half of the tape. Smooth that down and then cover it with some horseshoes around the back of the ankle. Again, going medial to lateral, covering the malleolus joint. And one more. All right. Next, we're going to do some heel locks. So you're going to start at the front, go around the back of the heel down the bottom and end where you started. So this is creating a teardrop on this one side. I'm going to do one on the other side and then back to that same side. Locking around the heel and back to where I started. We're going to do two of these on each side. And back to this side. This is like what happens when I get my 17-year-old kid <laughs> Last one is going to be a figure eight. So you're starting on the front again, going around the arch of the bottom of the foot, crossing over the front of the foot, and around the back, ending where I started. This is creating a figure eight, going around the arch, back, and around the back again. You're doing two of these. All right, I'm going to make sure everything's laying down flat. Make sure I don't have any holes. If you do have a hole, you can just cover it up. If there is a hole, it's just going to cause a little bit of a friction and blister, so you just want to make sure it's covered up. And then cover all your ends, going back up to the top, make it look pretty. All right. And that's an ankle sprain, or an ankle tape for a lateral ankle sprain. Um, you want to make sure that the athlete has good blood flow to the toes, and that when they step down, it doesn't hurt when they have weight bearing on their ankle. Okay, feel okay? Mm -hmm.